Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, so one of the easiest ways to improve the graphical performance of a Mac is to use an external GPU. Now, the problem with that is that Apple only officially supports Macs with Thunderbolt 3 connections and not those with Thunderbolt 2, but there is a way to get that working, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Everything I show you is gonna apply to just about anything with the Thunderbolt 2 port, be it a Mac Mini, an iMac, or a MacBook Pro, but today I'm gonna show you how to use an eGPU on an older Mac Mini. So here we go. All right, now before we jump into the tutorial, I just wanna make it clear, I'm not gonna be doing benchmarking or anything like this to show you the improvements. If that's something you wanna see, leave a comment down below and I'm happy to do a before and after video on some games and some video editing, even some 3D programs if you wanna see that. Now there's four things you're gonna to need to make this work on the hardware side, not including the computer. I'll have links down in the description to all four of these but you're gonna need the eGPU enclosure. I use the Sonnet eGFX breakaway box. It's 200 bucks on Amazon. It's a really, really solid breakaway box. It's Thunderbolt 3, and I would definitely recommend if you don't get this one that you get an enclosure with Thunderbolt 3. Don't get a Thunderbolt 2 enclosure because then you're kind of limiting yourself. With the Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, you're kind of future-proofing yourself a little bit. The next thing you're gonna need is that video card that goes inside that eGPU enclosure. And I'll have a link down in the description that takes you out to a site from Apple that shows you all the officially supported video cards for eGPUs. Now the method I'm gonna show you today allows for some additional cards that aren't on that list, but if you wanna stay official, check out that link, use one of those cards. I'll be using a Radeon RX 470 for today's tutorial. The next thing you're gonna need, because this is a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, is you're gonna need a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. I've tried a whole bunch of them, and the only one that I've gotten to work is the one from Apple. So if you know of another one that works, please leave that down in the comment section, uh, especially if it's a little bit cheaper than that Apple one, so we can all save a few bucks. Then after that, the last thing you're gonna need is the Thunderbolt 2 cable that goes from that adapter into the back of your Mac Mini or your iMac or your MacBook Pro, whatever Thunderbolt 2 device you're using, and then you are ready to go onto the software side, so let's check that out right now. All right, so we got the GPU put in the enclosure, everything hooked up, and we are here on the desktop. The first thing I wanna do is show you what happens if we don't run any script and just try to run it right now. So I'm gonna plug the Thunderbolt 2 into the back of the Mac Mini here, let it start up. And we can see it starts up in normal, but it's not showing any GPU. And that is the problem because this is a unsupported Mac. It's got a Thunderbolt 2. And even though we have a supported GPU in a supported GPU enclosure, it's not a supported Mac. So we have to run a script called Purge Wrangler on here to get this to work. So I'm gonna unplug this Thunderbolt 2. And this is the Purge Wrangler, Wrangler page. It's a GitHub page. I'll have a link down in the description that'll take you out there. So you can read through this if you want, but once you're on this page, you just take the text in the installation section, copy that and paste it into a terminal window. I'm gonna paste that and execute. And this is gonna download the script and execute it. You're gonna have to type in your password and it's gonna run through. Now, it'll take a few seconds. I've run this on my computer before. It'll take a little bit longer for you. But once it comes up, really the only things you have to worry about are the AMD GPU and the NVIDIA GPU. Don't worry about the rest of this stuff. If you're using Mojave, use an AMD GPU because Mojave does not have uh, web drivers for NVIDIA GPUs yet. So just to be safe, use a AMD GPU, and like I said, use that a supported card list that I linked down below to use a card that's supported. I'm using the RX 470, so I'm gonna select AMD. It's gonna start uh, running through it, and basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna trick the system into thinking we have a supported Mac. So we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. We're gonna enable this TI-82 and let it run. This is gonna run for just a few minutes, and then when it's done, We'll go ahead and restart our system and give that external GPU a try again. All right, so we're all done. We're gonna go back to the main menu here, quit out and restart the system and I'll be back when it's restarted. All right, so here we are. We are freshly restarted after installing Purge Wrangler and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in that external GPU again and see what happens. In a second, it should pop up here. And there it is, it's switching over because it detected our GPU. And if we take a look, 
We can see that we have the AMD Radeon RX 470. At this point, we could just yank out that HDMI cable from the back of our Mac and everything will run off the external GPU, giving us much better performance in applications and games, 3D apps, video editing, all that kind of good stuff. So there you go, that is how to use an eGPU on an older Mac Mini or iMac or MacBook Pro, anything with a Thunderbolt 2 connection, this should work. That script works great. I've been using this, after you get it all set up, you can even restart and it still uses the eGPU. You don't have to run that command every time and it vastly improves the game performance. Again, if you wanna see a dedicated video on that, showing you some before and after, leave a comment down below. I'm happy to do a video for you on that. And hopefully you found this useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love meeting new people on there and chatting with them. And I will see you in the next video.